Continuing from the previous section, let's make the scene come to life using the geometry node. This section requires Blender version 3.4 or above, as some nodes may not be supported in older versions. First, set an appropriate frame rate. Bring up the timeline. We'll need it later. Select a model and add a geometry node to it. The set position is the key to this animation. It changes the position of each vertex, not the origin coordinates. Add a wave texture to the offset. This will give each vertex different values. Scale it to get a suitable wave. Connect the position and scene time using a vector node. And link it to the wave texture. Now, when you press the spacebar, the model will start changing over time. Take a side view of the model. I don't want it to change in depth as that might cause clipping issues. Add a constraint here to limit the motion to the horizontal x direction. The parts where grass connects to the ground should remain static. Make a constraint on the wave using the local coordinates of the model vertices. Only make it effective in the vertical direction. You might notice a slight offset in the model. Add a node to correct it. Add a variable to the time node to control the speed of the wave's speed. Now, let's group the nodes to make everything clearer. Connect the parameters that need to be adjusted externally to this group input. This way you can quickly adjust these parameters outside of Node. Next, determine the loop duration. Duplicate this model. Go back to the first frame and apply the geometry node. Slide the timeline. This will find the loop length. The following adjustments ensure that adjustments are made in integer multiples of the existing values to guarantee a loop. I've divided the grass into three levels, large, medium, and small. Assign them three sets of corresponding values to simulate different dynamic effects. Apply this geometry node to all the grass and see the results. You'll notice that every groups of grass sway in the same direction. Go back to the nodes and add some random control. Use the world position of each model to determine its swaying direction.
Alternatively, you can overlay an external parameter to individually control each model for more precise results. I define this parameter as the wind direction and keep it as a global control within the nodes. You can add more custom settings according to your needs. Each model to which a geometry node is added is independent. These parameters do not affect each other. This is my final node for your reference. I created a looping animation of sunlight scaling. Now, let's create the sunlight disturbance effect. Move the sun model in a separate collection. Copy the previously grease pencil and change the collection to sun. In the visual effects panel, add a wave distortion. Remember that this effect only works in render mode. Adjust these parameters to get the desired effect. Add a loop animation to the phase. I've doubled the time to make the sun's animation slower without breaking the loop. You can also use the wave node created earlier. This is just another method to show. Next is the rain loop animation. Create a plane next to the scene. Add a particle system facing downward. Since particles start generating from frame zero, use the first half of this particle's timeline for the second half of the global timeline. Create another particle. This particle's first half will be used for the front half of the timeline. This way, both particles together form a looping rain particle effect. Create two raindrops using edges and put them in a collection. In the particle settings, select this collection as the render option. Adjust the scale and random size and keep both particles with same settings. Now let's align this particle with the scene. Add an offset to create a slanting rain effect. Edit re point to tilt the raindrops. Finally, duplicate previous grease pencil for the rain and adjust the colors and transparency. The rain effect is complete. I've duplicated the wave node for the clouds. Let the bottom of it also wave. Adjust the external parameters to get the desired effect. Alright, that's it. I've made this file available for free on Buy Me A Coffee if you need to download it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.